guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, it was out of focus. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back. So, today we have a little bit of, sh sh shout <laughs> of a shout out to give to this girl named Nushi Cat. I'm so sorry if I pronounced it wrong. I probably did. Correct me if I'm wrong. But shout out to her. Her channel will be linked in the description down below so you guys can subscribe. And yeah. So shout out to that queen. Um and yeah, so let's get started with today's video. Today I'm gonna be talking about some embarrassing stories. So I have two embarrassing stories to share with you guys. This video is gonna be very long. So let's get started. So one of them, it was picture day in fourth grade. And all the girls were down at the bathroom and we were all like doing our hair and stuff and just doing all that stuff. And then a teacher comes out because we took like 10 minutes. So then the teacher comes out and she's like, girls, get back to your classrooms now. And so while I was still wetting my hair, all the girls left me to go to their classrooms. I didn't know if we were like in switch classes, like for science class or whatever, or if we were just in homeroom until the time being. So, I picked up my stuff. My stuff was the only stuff in the hallway. And I went into my science class. <laughs> I went into my science classroom. And I sat down in my seat because it was empty. And I looked up. And the people from my science class did not look familiar. Like, they were not the people from my science class. Yet to know, that was just the, the homeroom for that other classroom. And we were supposed to be in our homerooms. But nobody told me that. And so... Yeah, and so my teacher came out and went into that classroom where I was sitting and pointed directly to my own homeroom, and I ran out. I grabbed my stuff, and I ran out of that room, and I just walked into my own homeroom. Yeah, pretty embarrassing because everybody was just staring at me, saying my name, like, why are you here? And then the teacher from that homeroom reminded me, honey, we have picture day today. <laughs> and although I knew that, I didn't know if we were supposed to be in a homeroom or in our next class. So I just walked into my science classroom. And not to know that there were, we were supposed to be in our homerooms. So we walked into my homeroom. And everybody said... And then this one girl... um, let's Since I don't want to give out her real name, let's just name her... Michelle. Since that's not her real name. So Michelle, she just comes up to me and she says... Hey, you know your hair's wet, right? I'm sitting here like, in my mind, I'm standing here like, yeah, 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 sure, I don't know that my hair is wet because I did it. Oh my gosh. I'm sitting, I'm standing there, and I just told her, I screamed, and then everybody stared at me after I screamed. I screamed to her, I said, yeah, of course, my hair is wet because I made it wet for picture day. Yeah, and then everybody just started to stare at me, so. That's an amazing story. On to the next one. The next story was in my ELA class. And um, me and my friend, let's, we're not, I'm not going to say her real name. So let's just call her, let's just call her Daphne. Yeah, let's just call her Daphne. So Daphne and me, although that's not her real name, Daphne and me were sitting in our seats. And the teacher apparently had enough of people talking in class. So she said to everybody that if they were listening to come out to the carpet after they were done their test. And she she was timing us because we were doing a test, a spelling test. She was timing us and me and Daphne, Daphne whatever, didn't even know that she was timing us. And we didn't hear her because we were just taking our test. So then when the timer went off, we both looked up and we were like, wait, what? Wait, what? Then we just got back to work during our test. Yet to know, everybody was going up to the front carpet to, like, check out and, like, review their homework. And so I guess only the people that were listening went up to the carpet and was reviewing their homework with the teacher. While well, me and Daphne were still sitting at our desks doing our test, not even knowing that we were tired because she was the one trying to distract us while we were doing our test. It's not like we weren't listening. Like, we were. But we were, like, more focused on our grades than a dumb teacher trying to tell us that, like, she's done with us, like, I don't know, being, I don't know, like, disruptive or whatever. Like, oh my god. 
So, then what happened was, uh, I noticed that everybody was going up there, and I was like, I said to Daphne, I was like, I tapped her shoulder, I was like, Daphne, Daphne, and then she was like, she was all like, hold on, let me like play this out, okay, so here, here's me, and then here's Daphne, 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 what, everybody's going up to the front carpet, we should go up, and then we both went up, yet to know, I forgot to bring my reader's notebook, that was my homework, so I went back, grabbed it, but we were checking it, so I forgot to bring my pencil up to the carpet, so I had to go back, get my pencil, and sat down again. Yet to know that Daphne was not, still not listening, and so I had to go up to Daphne and tell her physically, Daphne, we have to go up to the front carpet. She grabbed her notebook, and we both went up. We were both so embarrassed, and then we just went over our homework. So yeah. That's some embarrassing stories. And after that, everybody just stood staring at us. Anyway, um, thank you guys for, for watching this video and listening to my very embarrassing stories. I hope you guys had your popcorn with you because I sure did. And yeah, so, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my embarrassing stories. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!